Um, which of the following mechanisms is most likely to most likely cause of her symptoms? Decrease PVR, increase PVR, um, left ventricular hypertrophy, right ventricular hypertrophy, or systemic hypertension. A 22-year-old woman presents to the clinic with a history of cyanosis and clubbing of her fingers since her teenage years. She's recently started experiencing episodes of syncope and increased fatigue. On physical examination, she has a prominent precordial impulse and a loud, harsh systolic murmur over the left lower sternal border. Uh, an e ECG reveals a large VSD with right to left shunting. Her um, arterial blood gas shows a PaO2 of 55 and a PaCO2 of 35. Which of the following is most likely mechanism of which of the following mechanisms is most likely cause of her symptoms? Okay. Um, so seeing here, she has a systolic murmur, and it's a VSD. Um, she has syncope. She's had a clubbing of the fingers. It's a 22-year-old woman. Um, I don't know why my mind was going straight to like, I know it's not the right patient population, but I was leaning just to uh, Tetralogy of Fallow just because of the VSD and, um, I guess syncope and cyanosis. Okay. Um, I don't think that's necessarily the right answer here. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what she has. So she has a history of cyanosis and clubbing of the fingers. I think clubbing of the fingers I know that can happen in cystic fibrosis. I know that can happen in cancer um, and like adenocarcinoma. I don't think she has adenocarcinoma. I don't think she has necessarily because they don't talk about recent recurrent infections. So I don't know if they talk about cystic fibrosis, um, syncope and increased fatigue. Um, so talk to me about this here. This is kind of a weird thing I'm going to throw at you to kind of lead you in the right direction here. So what is her diagnosis? Like what from the most specific thing that they can give you what is her diagnosis that's kind of what i'm trying to figure out i don't really 100 percent know but they give you an echocardiogram right they give an you an echocardiogram imaging. reveals large vsd with right to left shunting so what is their diagnosis a vsd a vsd right so start from there okay so now yeah right to left shunting with a vsd would mean that usually you have left to right shunting because um you have increased pressure in the left ventricle okay so oh. with the right to left shunting oh sorry so why is it right to left then? Rather, you have an increase in pulmonary vascular resistance causing a right ventricular hypertrophy. Um, or like just you have a right ventricular hypertrophy in general because, I mean, usually it's because of an increased pulmonary vascular resistance. And it just causes that. I think it's called like Eisenmonger system or syndrome. Okay, good. So you got the diagnosis now, right? So this patient in, it, that's more specific has Eisenmonger syndrome. Okay, so what is the... What is the mechanism of Eisenmiger? That's the question, right? Yeah, I think that you have a buildup of um, pulmonary vascular resistance, which causes like an increase in right ventricular hypertrophy that ends up switching the um, flow of the murmur. Or sorry, the flow of the, uh, yeah, flow of the murmur. So instead of a left to right, it goes from right to left. And I think so. I would end up saying like, what's the following is the most likely cause, I would end up saying increased PBR. Um, I feel like I'm wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I would probably go with that, honestly. Good. Yeah. There it is. All right, good. Right, so you increase, right, the pulmonary vascular resistance, Eisenmiger syndrome, right, and then you have right ventricular hypertrophy because of that, and then you have a right to left shifting, right, and whenever you reverse that shunt, it's no bueno, right, that's not no. going to be good, right, so um, does that make sense how we work through this? Yeah, and so again, like, just going with the specific, like, an ECG shows what, VSD, okay, right to left shunting, um, that's the most specific thing they're going to give me, so... Yeah. When they give you imaging, right? Just think of it like this, right? If they give you imaging, right, that's going to be kind of a, you know, especially with the heart. I'm saying in particular, when you're dealing with cardio, right, that's going to give you anything structural. You have to under understand that it gives you any, like they wouldn't give you an echocardiogram that has a VSD, but they wouldn't tell you like, oh, they have, you know, other characteristics of the heart that supports citrology flow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, when they're giving you an image, right, you assume that, oh, that's what the heart, that's all that the heart shows you, you know what I mean? So Yeah, they'd have to say something else, like, oh, he has a, he has a overriding aorta, or exactly, you know, a pulmonary stenosis, like his pneumonic valve, yeah, okay. Good.